Okay, so recently I've just reread Fear Itself, the graphic novel that touches on a lot of things that, you know, the MCU kind of could use. But nonetheless, man, it, it was just a few things in here, man, I think you guys really need to see. Man. Now run that intro. Cajun wine the red Leo, but you can call me Cajun back again with another video man If you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button right now your man's is on the road to 150 subs And then I'm coming for that 200 Leave a like while you're at it and last but not least leave a comment because I always hit the people back up in the comment section You can believe that let's talk comics number six. Let's do this all right, so the overall arc of this, we have Sin, who is the daughter of Red Skull himself, by the way, looking for some ancient artifacts from a time long past and forgotten. Now, in this story, these ancient artifacts that she is looking for, they even have the All-Father himself, Odin, shook up to the point that he is ready to burn the Earth, or Midgard, to cinders. Now, these artifacts that Sin is looking for are hammers that were created by Kull, and Kull is the older brother of Odin. Now, whosoever these hammers come in into contact with, they are called the wor worthy. I mean, <laughs> case in point, Norse mythology, Thor and all that. But anyway, they are called the worthy. And I think they're entities that possess them from, uh, I guess, whenever Kull first tried to do this. Or they try I'm just going to call it up there a transformation. And I must say, I really like the concept designs of these costumes that, or these suits that they made. And let's get right on into it. First on the list, we have Sin as Scatty. Now, I will say that I might mispronounce some of these names. <laughs> That's just a future reference. Up next on the list, we have Juggernaut who becomes Kurth, the Breaker of Stone. Now, this is actually one of my favorite costumes in this series. And moving right along, we have the Hulk. Who is who becomes Null, the breaker of worlds. And now I think this is a nice little hint or a touch to the fact that we have World War Hope. Check out my last video. I think I mentioned it a little bit. Anyway. The next one on this list, I think she's going to get a little bit more screen time in the She-Hulk uh, series. And I really, really mean it. A little bit more screen time. We have Titania as Skurn, the breaker of men. Now, I think this... There's a little bit of a reference from the first Secret Wars since this is her debut and her origin story, but I really want to say this has to do with her relationship with Absorbing Man, <laughs> which brings us into our next one on this list, Absorbing Man. Yeah, and like I said, I'll probably have pr <laughs> problems pronouncing his name, Grethoth, Breaker of Wills. <laughs> yeah, and Ben Grimm even takes a spin at one as Anger. The Breaker of Soul. <laughs> and even Ben Grimm takes a spin at one as Anger. The Breaker of Souls. And by far, I think he has like my second, my second favorite costume or suit. Rounding this list up with our last two guys, we have whoever this guy's name or the Submariner's main villain, this villain is. I can barely pronounce his name already. Atomos. And rounding off this list with two more, we have the main villain for Namor, Atmos. As he become Nurkdad, <laughs> as he become Nurkdad, the breaker of oceans. Now I know I screwed that one up. And this last one on the list is Gargoyle, but in the comic I didn't really, they didn't really give him a name. His scene was really quick, so I hope I can find a good picture of him. His scene was really quick and everything. I mean, I don't even think they showed him dying at the end of this. <laughs> But what do you guys think, man, about this fair itself, about these? Do you think this should be an adaptation at some point, uh, sometime, you know, or even on uh, the what ifs? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thanks to everybody, man. New subscribers, man. Returning subscribers, all that. Thank you, everybody, for all the support. And until next time, be blessed. Keep God in your life and stay prayed up in this crazy, crazy world. Hey, Juan Ray Leo. I'm out, baby.